Hi, I'm Libby Langdon, and today I'm in this very beautiful living room, but we are going to tackle it and do a dramatic decover. We're definitely going to focus on the shelving units because those are a problem area in here, but there are lots of different spots and room for improvement. We're going to do it in record time. The homeowner said that they don't really use this room very much because they don't think it's very comfortable to sit in and have conversation. So you can see all the furniture is sort of a little too far away from each other. So what I'm going to do is move some pieces that they've already got around and you're going to be amazed at how much of a better flow there is in this living room. So the primary focus for today is tackling these shelving units. This is a great space, but the white is a little glaring, so I'm going to give you an idea on how to change that. The other thing is, we've got uber symmetry happening here. Sometimes things don't need to be equally balanced. Fight that impulse. I'm going to show you how. Sometimes a forgotten space like this can really make your room feel like it's not complete. We want to finish the design and we want them to come in and love every corner of this room. This wall unit is a challenge because the outside is dark and the inside is dark. Also, it's a great idea if you have a collection of things to focus them all in one wall unit. But I think we're going to say goodbye to the Santas for the spring and the summer. So often I go into people's homes and their shelves are spaced perfectly evenly. They're usually that way because that's the way the contractor left them after he built the built-ins. So don't let your contractor be the one that determines what you can actually fit in your shelving units. When you have a wall-mounted television, we all definitely want to fill in that weird space from the counter to where the TV starts. This is an awful lot of pictures and it might feel a little cluttered, so I've got a different tactic on how we can make this area work and display the pictures in a different way. The first step in reworking a shelving unit is to get everything out. A lot of times people think, oh, I'll just move things around. Nope, you gotta start with a clean slate. Okay, so we know this is the tiniest little shelving unit. The thing that's making it feel so small are these tiny little shelves. So what I'm gonna do is take a few of them out and fill up the space and it's gonna keep it from feeling so small and compact. A great solution if you have white inside areas on the backs of your shelves is to use some simple linen. You can use it in any color you like. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to tape it to some thin cardboard. Then I'm going to place that in the inside back of the shelving unit. It's going to add texture and it's going to keep that white space from looking quite so glaring. When you start styling your wall unit, remember the word BOP, B-O-P. That means books go in first, objects go in second, and pictures go in last. I don't know why that recipe works. I've just found that that's the best way to keep a wall unit from feeling overloaded. It's a good idea if you want to infuse a little bit of color in the back of a bookshelf. Sometimes you can do something as simple as just placing a book face up in the shelf. It can actually make the item that you've set in front of it really stand out. All right, so we've restyled the wall units. Now it's time to restyle the room. Let's move some furniture. Don't be afraid to move a piece of furniture in front of a cabinet. If it's something that you access all the time, that's probably not going to work. But if it's something you don't use too often, it's probably a great planting spot for a comfy chair. My favorite part, we're done. And this decover took no time flat. This layout works so much better than what was here before. This is all their exact same furniture. What I've done is just pulled it in and basically created a conversation circle. So now every seat is going to be able to be used and everyone sitting here is going to be able to be involved in the conversation. The desk area now has a little bit of fun happening here. It's got the great family pictures of the girls and it's got a lamp. The wall unit problem is solved and the BOP combination, books, objects and pictures, worked really well in this space and you can see how much texture and depth this linen backing gives. 
So when it comes to using books in a bookshelf, make sure you mix them. Some should be vertical, some should be horizontal. That's going to make it more interesting to look at. All right, our wannabe wall unit actually has some good things going on. Sometimes just bringing in a few larger pieces in what's a really small wall unit is going to give it some expansiveness and keep it from feeling so quaint and so small. So in addition to letting all the Santas take a vacation, we also actually move this wall unit from one corner all the way over to this corner. It helps balance the desk that's opposite the wall unit. I've used primarily light items to style the shelves with. It's got the dark wood here and sort of a dark wood back. So these light items really pop up and with the interior lighting, it's a great combination and a super look in any room. Before we had all of those picture frames here, it was important to bring in some rich, darker items to help balance the TV and also by putting the red cardboard in the back insides of the shelves, that gives us some nice kicks of color. Always remember to stagger the height not only within the bookcase, but stagger the heights from bookcase to bookcase that are on the same wall. We don't want all the shelves to go straight across. No matchy-matchy. Get them all mixed up. It's going to look great. I did this in just over four hours with a lot of girl power, but I encourage you to take inventory of items you've got in your own home. See if you can use them in a fresh new way. You're going to love the results.